Hello everyone, my name is Michele Graglia. I am 37 years old. Uh, I was born and raised in Italy, now live in the United States. And I guess I consider myself an ultra runner. I definitely have that, you know, adventurous spirit within me. And that's what I think fuels my, you know, my appetite, my fascination towards these long distance extreme running. It's, it's an opportunity to venture into, you know, in wild environments. And it's also an adventure in many ways to push yourself to the limits. You know, I left Italy when I was 24 years old. I was in the family business, so I was working as a salesperson. The goal was to open a branch to increase, the, you know, to expand the business, uh, improve my English, all these things. Then, you know, I got scouted from a modeling agent by a modeling agent and that, you know, that career took off mm -hmm. and it brought me, you know, to live um, incredible experiences if I needed to make a switch and I needed to make a change in my life. That came, you know, there's, there's many reasons that brought to the breaking point, uh, personal, career-wise, and then, you know, philosophically in many ways. The type of environment, the type of industry, and, and living that type of lifestyle, I just realized that it wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, at that, moment, at that point, I was, I was running New York. Um, you know, I was at the top of my career. I was, I was doing great. Uh, despite that, I just didn't find uh, fulfillment. I didn't find purpose in what I was doing. I didn't like mm -hmm. what, what, who I was becoming. And so, um, you know, that was the breaking point. Extreme runner and adventure. I enjoy the heat, that's for sure. Yeah. I enjoy the heat and I like to push through the heat. Running in heat is, is way harder for the body, for the mind to stay focused because it's, it's hard. You know, every single step is it's a, it's a push. A heat stroke, you can pass out and that's it. You know, you just pass out and that's the end of it. You just get back in a car, you drink and you're fine. It becomes almost like a survival test. Yeah. Uh, the Atacama is a very, very narrow, long desert. It's the driest place on earth. We started from, again, from north of San Pedro de Atacama. I crossed 1,000 kilometers in eight days and 12 hours, two and a half marathons per day. You know, last year when I ran 1,700 kilometers in Mongolia, you know, when you're moving the, the first day, if you think ahead, you'll be like, huh, you know, this, <laughs> this sounds like a little bit too much. In the Gobi, I had this major, major setback uh, my 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 whole digestive system my stomach my intestines everything was was completely upside down and so the seventh day i had this major downfall and so i spent several hours in the stent laying down and just trying to regroup uh that one day i still managed to run 44 kilometers but it was the, the the shortest day of the whole expedition. I lost about eight to ten kilos. Uh, Mongolia, in particular, you know, has a very unique culture of extremely resilient people. The one thing I did nonstop was the recent Moab race. That was 390 kilometers nonstop. No sleep, no nothing, just one straight shot. Because, you know, most often we think about deserts as something 
desolate with no life if you allow yourself to explore it you realize that it's full of life and you can connect on an energy level with everything around you and it's it's a very powerful experience it wasn't just about me running it was about having the right support team having the right people the right equipment the right vehicles the right guides so it was like a you know a joint effort a team effort and uh, being able to to do it it was it was a huge privilege one vehicle the main guide basically with me the whole way landscape will allow them to drive maybe you know four five six kilometers ahead of me and i could follow the track or i could see them way ahead uh, sometimes we had sandstorms or the most clear reason is that lights the car the camp i could see it miles away the other reason why I gotta tell you I, I like running in the dark is the fact that it creates a very almost like it puts you like in a in a bubble. This is this is your world, you know. It's right here. The recovery after each run at the end of the day was fundamental. So as soon as I finished, I would do a little 10-15 minutes stretching session. In the meantime, I would be sipping uh, this mix of protein powder and um, electrolyte. If we were in the lower desert, I would do some cold, like a cold dip. Eat and then straight to bed. Uh, running in the cold is, is definitely easier because you can, man you know, with the right equipment, you can manage your body temperature. Although, on the other hand, it's much more dangerous, especially with the type of races that I've done. Most often, you, you're out there by yourself. So if you get hypothermia, if you get any sort of problem, you literally die. I ran the Yukon Arctic Ultra, which is the race in the Northern Canada territories and would reach temperatures of 40 below. It was, you know, it was incredibly cold. It was incredibly profound in a way, because if, you know, you find yourself out there in the middle of nowhere, in deep in the wilderness, confronting these extreme temperatures, but you have to be aware and you have to be constantly present to make sure you don't do stupid things. Because stupid things mean you're risking your life. Yeah. If not, you're, risk, you're risking parts of your body. In long distance running, of course, you have to prepare your body. You have to train. You have to dedicate, you know, time, energy, and everything a lot, a lot of time, uh, including yoga and then eventually meditation. What makes a big difference is controlling the fluctuations of the mind. And meditation allows you to practice mindfulness and, and and practice presence. So this is a very practical example of what happens in in ultra marathons. All we can control is right now. And that's my mantra going into most of these expeditions or races. It's right here, right now. I started taking away dairy. I started taking away meat. I started taking away all the regular things that we think we need. I started feeling lighter. I started feeling more energized. You know? I started looking at nutrition more from a nourishing standpoint rather than a fueling standpoint. Colorful foods. Uh, we're talking about a bunch of enzymes, minerals, vitamins, all the things that truly nourish the cell. Fruit, a bunch of veggies, a bunch of uh, dark green leaves like spinach, arugula, avocados. I talk about seeds, nuts good oils olive oil coconut oil stuff like that fish every now and then salmon is my go-to uh because of the good fats not available in gobi <laughs> not at all <laughs> uh, the main goal was to cross an, uh, antarctica but unfortunately antarctica is closed the second biggest project i have was to cross the sahara if everything goes well I'm, I'm, uh, I'm thinking about going to Namibia in next fall. Fun fact about the Namib desert is, is that it's the oldest desert on the planet. It's definitely not 
a search for adrenaline or rather you know driven by the curiosity of of what my limits are running is in our nature running you know is is who we are uh running made us who we are as a species you know he shaped us literally the way we look is because of running we evolved thanks to yeah. run the certain tendons that we have the the upright position the 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 head uh, i'm thirsty for adventure and exploration so it doesn't matter if it's you know on my own two feet or if it's biking or if it's swimming or if it's rowing i want to explore uh, all my possibilities and push your boundaries, push your limits, feel yourself alive, breathing, you know, being present. That's all part of the same recipe. So whether you're running, biking, swimming or whatever, just get out there and do it. Uh, thanks for following and uh, best of luck for all of you. Follow your dreams, follow your passion and keep going.